All right, uh, Professor Tanuka and myself are discussing off air some of the, the, the new cabinet ministers that were announced last night. President Jacob Zuma's new cabinet has been received with a mixed bag of reactions, some new faces, some reinstated back into cabinet. Zuma announced his long awaited cabinet in Pretoria last night. So, to discuss this further, we're joined by Professor Tanuka Maluleka from uh, the University of Johannesburg. So good to have you. Welcome to, to Morning Live. And apologies for saying you, Nisa, because it, it certainly isn't a two-j. So thanks for being our guest. Straight up, any surprises for you? No, not really. I think that the rumor um, mill was, was pretty much correct uh, this time. I think the real surprise is the fact that we've got uh, Pravin Gordon uh, removed yeah. uh, or shifted. Uh, I shouldn't use strong words shifted from, uh, from the Treasury uh, to uh, COCTA and uh, the uh, NENE coming in. I think that is a real surprise. The formation of Water and Sanitation Department as well as the, the, new, the two departments of communication, telecommunication and uh, communication where the yeah. SABC will be located, for example. Um, and women uh, ministry moving into the presidency, uh, a presidency which does not have a woman uh, at the moment. It is three very powerful men there, Jacob Zuma, Cyril Ramaphosa, and Jeff Hadebe. Mm, mm. Uh, so those are, for me, some of the, 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 the surprises. All right. Let's, let's talk about this combination in the presidency. What do you think of it? I mean, Jeff Hadebe, Cyril Ramaphosa, Jacob Zuma, I mean, these are the three most powerful positions in a way. Talk to me about them. Yes. It's a good combination. I think if you add uh, the name of Gwede Mantashe in Lutuli House, you have the, the man who will be running the country okay. uh, quite, quite, uh, quite uh, seriously. I think it's, a, it's an excellent combination. Clearly, Jeff Hadebe is a confidant uh, of the president, and he has executed himself well most of the time. Uh, in a very difficult portfolio uh, that he has just come out of. He is a veteran uh, of, of the struggle uh, with, with a lot of credentials. Cyril Ramaphosa, I mean, 20 years later, he comes back yeah. uh, after Mandela had actually indicated that he would have not minded to have him as his deputy. And he's back again. Uh, again, no one can question the credentials of Cyril Ramaphosa. He literally went to prison and fetched Mandela yeah. and, and held the microphone for Mandela's uh, first speech. So these are very, very uh, uh, well-respected and well-established leaders. Uh, and I think that uh, the president will be well-served uh, having the two of them around him. All right. Now, the, the one you mentioned and the one I, when I was chatting a bit earlier, was saying that's that's really been spoken about in the newspapers this morning is the appointment of Ntlantla Nene. Uh, he used to be the deputy of uh, the, the deputy minister in finance under Praveen Gordon. Now he's the man of the moment. He's, uh, he's heading up to take over this position. What yeah. are your views on him? Well, he actually also served under Trevor, uh, Trevor Manuel yeah, as well. Indeed. So he, he is a veteran of, uh, of the treasury. Yeah. So he knows, uh, he knows the game uh, very well. Um, I think we must be careful not to emphasize too much that he is the first black uh, African, as I've seen many people commenting and even in the media. Of course it's significant, uh, but that's not why he got the job. Yeah. Uh, he got the job because he, he is able to do it, and I, I, th I think that he has all the experience necessary, all the, the knowledge uh, necessary to do the job. Uh, and I hear people saying the markets will be shaken. I doubt, because uh, he is no stranger. I mean, this is not someone being parachuted into a system that he doesn't know about. So mm. I, I'm very confident, and I, I think the president did well to appoint him. H has he got a different style? I mean, as you say, he was under Finance Minister Manuel and Pravin Gordon. His style, however, do you think we can see any changes to the economy? It's an important position. I think so. Look, I, I do recall a time when he, he held a very strong view uh, in Parliament about uh, the need to make things, uh, to facilitate business, uh, to, to, you know, for, 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 the, for the rules of the economy and, and financial rules of the land to enable business uh, to function properly. Uh, without hindrance and so on. So he, he is that kind of person, it seems mm. to me. So we're going to see uh, someone who would be very much worried about getting business to work, enabling, uh, creating an enabling environment uh, uh, for, for the economy to grow. Yeah, Qu quite an interesting um, 
uh, move to put Praveen Gordon now as the, the Minister of Traditional Affairs, um, uh, uh, Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs. Would you, could you picture him in that role? Would you have thought that that would, that would be his new portfolio? Perhaps not traditional affairs, but cooperative governance, certainly. Uh, I mean, you know, in, in his previous uh, position, he spent a lot of time and energy looking at problems of cooperative governance, uh, local government, and all of those, uh, those areas. So he comes into this job with a lot of experience. He knows what is not working in there. Mm. And I think, I think uh, he, may, he may actually be quite a brilliant appointment in this, uh, uh, in this department. Uh, because it's a department that has had many problems, yeah. inefficiency being at the heart of it. And I think if there's a man who, who knows how to make things efficient, uh, Pravin Gordon is that man. Interesting. Good to see. We'll, we'll wait and see what happens there. I want to talk about, and, and there's so much to talk about. I, I want to talk about this new Ministry of Small Enterprises. Um, this, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping, is going to make a difference to small businesses. Do you think so? Is this perhaps a solution? I think so. Look, I think we do need a, a focus on small businesses in the country. There's no one who can uh, deny that. I am not sure, though, that, you know, we have seen how um, economic development and the Treasury have not quite gelled. And now to have a third uh, very important piece, uh, which uh, operates separately from the two of them, I would have rather uh, found an emphasis in, uh, in one of the already existing economic uh, uh, departments for this. Mm. But, uh, you know, I, I, think, I think there is no harm in creating a dedicated ministry for small business, okay. given uh, the role of this sector in our economy. All right. Then Diwe Zulu heading up that appointment, and I think a powerful woman to be doing that. Very powerful Great. woman has all the credentials, Excellent. also has the experience to, to, uh, to run a department such as this. Okay, I, I, I have to wrap it. We are going to have more analysis throughout the morning because there is so many changes and we also uh, are hoping to uh, get some of the ministers in here to talk tomorrow. That would be a really nice thing to do. Thank you so much, Prof. Thanks for being with us this morning and talking to us. They are going to be sworn in this afternoon, 3 o'clock at the Presidential Guest House in Pretoria. So all the ministers will be sworn in by this afternoon. All right, let's